welcome to the channel. If you're new, I'm Alicia. Summer is here and I know a lot of people like to travel. So today I'm sharing some healthy road trip snack boxes. Really, these are just traveling snack ideas that I've made a little more fun by putting them into boxes. So just remember the goal is not to replicate, but to draw inspiration from. You can take what you want and leave what you don't. And if you'd rather just bring the packages than put them in a container, that's fine. But I think this container is a little more appealing and makes it fun. I've linked this container in the description box if you want, but it's not a sponsored video. And this is actually a craft box that I've just put snacks into. I am sharing two boxes that don't need to be refrigerated and two boxes that would best keep in the cooler. For these containers, each one has eight compartments. So that means I've got 32 snack ideas coming your way. We have got a lot to get through. Let's do it. Starting with our first cooler box, we're loading up on vegetables, making them fun to eat with dip and some protein. For dips, I have got some mini packs of hummus and guac. They'll last longer and it's already portioned out, meaning anyone can grab one for their own enjoyment on the ride. And I've also made some ranch dip. Vegetables are the hardest thing to get in for me when traveling, so having different dips that make them more tasty and appealing means that I'm more likely to actually eat them. For the ranch dip, you can totally use Greek yogurt as a base, but if you prefer dairy-free and like mayonnaise, try this one with a homemade mayo base. I have shown you my homemade mayonnaise before. I will link it if you wanna try it out, but I'm pretty much taking that and ranchifying it. I add avocado oil, an egg, a clove of garlic, lemon juice, Dijon mustard, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and salt to a tall container. I use my immersion blender to pulse until a thick mayo forms. Lift it gently up and down as you pull to emulsify. Then you can add in some fresh parsley and dill and pull slightly to integrate the herbs. Then you can decide if you want your dip thick like a mayo, you can leave it or add a bit of almond milk to thin it out. Use more milk if you want it more like a ranch dressing. It's tasty, clean, and even if you aren't a fan of ranch dip for veggies, if you like it on a salad, I highly recommend trying it out. I chose vegetables that will last a little bit longer and don't need much preparation, like snap peas and baby carrots, cherry tomatoes, and radish and cucumber, which I've cut into chips. Perfect for dipping instead of regular chips. I have also made some feta stuffed olives. I shared these in my around the world bento boxes, which I'll link below, but they are just so easy and tasty. I cut a block of feta into small enough pieces to stuff into pitted olives. A perfect salty bite with healthy fat that will keep me satisfied. I have also got some hard boiled eggs, which can be enjoyed plain or with dip as an easy source of protein on the road. Okay. That's box number one for the cooler. Let's do one that doesn't need to be refrigerated next. For the first room temperature box, I've got plums, one of my favorite summer fruits, and they're an easy handheld option. I've also got some applesauce fruit packets. They're portioned and easily accessible, no spoon needed. The more fruits and veggie options I can get, the better. Freeze dried fruit is another way to get fruit in that will last, and it doesn't need to have any added sugar. So it's generally a safe bet, like these raspberries and bananas. As a healthy carb snack food, popcorn. Go with air pop to avoid oils and additives. I am also making some ranch flavored crunchy chickpeas. This is a fun twist on roasted chickpeas. I simply drain and rinse the can of chickpeas and dry them out between paper towels. The drier you can get them, the more they'll crisp up. I add them to a sheet pan and toss with a bit of oil as well as my ranch flavoring, which consists of some dried parsley, dried dill, freeze dried chives, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and black pepper. It is that easy. You could use a packet of ranch seasoning if you prefer, but I skip the dairy and additives this way. Onto a sheet pan and into the oven they go for 30 to 40 minutes tossing halfway cool before enjoying and remember they'll crisp up more once they've sat for a few these add healthy carbs fiber and protein to my snack box these days they also have quite a few store-bought crunchy chickpea options just be sure to find one with cleaner ingredients i also added some protein with these meat sticks they are paleo so they are cleaner and i just cut them into pieces so they're fun to grab without having to eat the entire stick for satiating fat, pistachios were my go-to here, but use whatever nuts you like. I went with shelled, so they're easier to eat in the car without extra shells. And finally, a fun one for this box is my Raisin Bran inspired trail mix. Healthified. I combine raisins, of course, and instead of bran flakes, I went with corn flakes. It's pretty easy to find cleaner corn flakes without sugar. And I'm adding almonds and macadamia nuts to make this trail mix a little more substantial, as well as some chocolate chips for fun. That is my second box. 
The next box shares more inspiration for cooler, friendly snacks. It starts with my Fruity Pebbles Energy Bites. Say what? In a food processor, I combine dried mango, dried apricots, sunsweet is the best. Same goes for pitted dates, along with some raw cashews, macadamia nuts, freeze-dried strawberries, lime zest and juice, and a pinch of salt. Pulse the mixture and let it go from dry to minced, and eventually the nuts will release their oils and the whole mixture will moisten. If needed, add a splash of water or coconut water until the desired consistency is reached. You want it to be able to stick together and hold, but don't want it too sticky. Then I roll into balls. Oh gosh, these are like fruity pebbles in real life without the preservatives. Fruity from natural sources and so perfect for summer. Also, these balls will actually store fine out of the cooler too. They don't have to be refrigerated, but if you're risking a hot car and have the option to keep them cold, I'd recommend it. In this box, I wanted to make sure we got more fresh fruit in, so blueberries and some red grapes. I've also added some pickles, which are fun and tasty to eat on their own. I went with bread and butter, but you could go with dill if you don't want the sugar. For a snacky item, I included some crunchy corn. This is baked, not fried, and I got it from the deli part of my grocery store where those packaged bulk snacks, nuts, and dried fruits are. It literally tastes like those bits of popcorn kernels that are just barely popped, so good. I'm also making some PB&J rolls for easy eating. I simply grab a tortilla, whatever type you prefer. I used a brown rice one to keep it gluten-free with some nut butter of choice and jelly. I also like to add coconut shreds for taste and texture, but they are optional, and roll it up nice and tight. Cut into little bites and you've got a tasty and satisfying snack. I also took some string cheese and cut them into little bites. Sometimes you just want a bite or two or to have a few different things to satisfy. So this takes the pressure off of eating an entire package and gives you the freedom to choose. For a bit more protein, I'm making skewers with chicken apple sausage and cheese cubes. The sausage is already cooked so I can just cut up and skewer, it's so easy. This box has so many of my favorites. One more to go, and it's another that does not need the cooler. First, I've got clementines, a great on-the-go fruit that can be easily peeled when needed and is a nutritious snack. For some salt and crisp seaweed snacks. Many brands I've seen are pretty clean, but check the ingredients to be sure. You really only need to see seaweed, oil, and salt, no fillers. For a crunch and some nutrition, freeze-dried vegetables like peas and corn. They are addictive, as are these unsweetened coconut chips, so crunchy and delicious. I'm also including mulberries in this box, which are a great snack alternative to raisins with about a third less sugar. I also took some fruit bars, bars where the only ingredients are fruit are becoming popular. I don't recommend them as a replacement to whole fruit, but I definitely think they're fun for a clean snack. I cut up a few different flavored bars into pieces for my snack boxes. For a sweet treat, I'm adding some plum sweets. These are chocolate covered prunes by Sunsweet and oh my gosh, they are so good, hard to put down. The tangy prunes pair with chocolate perfectly. And last, I am making some coconut cashew mini muffins. They only have five ingredients. I add cashew butter, eggs, baking powder, and mix. Add sweetener if your nut butter doesn't have any or if you want these to be sweet. Then I stir in some coconut shreds and chopped cashews as mix-ins. Into the muffin tins they go, and I top them off with coconut shreds for cuteness. They are quick to bake and ready when they're lightly golden and a toothpick comes out clean. Light, fluffy, and so satisfying for a quick and easy bite. Woo! And those are some road trip snack ideas for traveling, over 30 on the go ideas to inspire you. I know when we travel, it's hard to stay healthy. Sometimes I don't worry about it. I just indulge, which is totally fine. But if you are trying to stay on track, I think it's so important to have healthy items available. And these boxes really hit the mark and make that fun. I hope you enjoy. I will see you next week with a brand new episode. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.